What up my amazing audience, my name is Tricky Acid, and in this video I will be talking about and providing a tutorial about a certain application that Rockstar created that will work alongside Grand Theft Auto 5. It is called iFruit, and in order to play around with it and even get it, you will need an iPhone. I have the iPhone 5, but it doesn't matter what iPhone you have. Just have an iPhone. And the app is free and it's around 400 megabytes, so make sure you do have some space in your memory. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now we have magically landed into my iPhone screen. Alright, first of all, this is not my car. Now let's slide to unlock the phone. I'm sure you all know how to install application. Just go to the App Store and type in iFruit. I'll just quickly show you now anyway, and it will be the first result. So just click download, and voila, the app will be there. And just click on iFruit. And all you have to do is just sign into the Rockstar Social Club. The reason why you have to sign into the Rockstar Social Club is because the Social Club is linked to your Grand Theft Auto 5 game. That's how the app and the game both communicate. So log into this. If you haven't already uh, got a Social Club account, just sign up and then from there, we're good to go. Okay, once you've logged in and everything, you'll be on the home screen for the iFruit application. Now, there's a few apps here which I'll be talking about. First of all, it's called Chop the Dog. Now, Franklin has a dog called Chop. And, you know, a doggy needs to be looked after. And you can actually take care of his dog on the go when you're not actually playing the game. And depending on how you look after the dog, it actually affects his behavior within the game. So whatever you do in this app, it reflects what happens in game. So let's launch the application right now. <laughs> Once the app's launched, yeah, Franklin's dog just chilling out <laughs> in some, like, random place. And what happens is, like I said before, depending on how you look after the dog and how happy your dog is affects his behavior within the actual game. So if you treat him well, he'll be friendly to you, he'll play tricks, he'll even sniff out hidden items for you nearby just to help you out. So, you know, you can just click on the screen randomly and he'll follow. And if you look on the right hand side where it has... What is it, Chop? Good lord. <laughs> if you look on the t top left hand corner, you'll actually see his happiness level. And right now it's half. And we want to get it as high as possible. Now on the right hand side, you can see two bowls with one with water, one with food. And you'll see actually a ring around it. So on the top one, which I've just clicked now, it has a blue ring, which is not completely full. You need to try to get that up to 100%. And that makes sure, you know, that chop is actually filled up, he's not hungry or whatever. Now, if you look at the actual food itself, you have steak, chicken, a donut. Let's give him some steak. Eat your steak, chop. Hello? Good, good boy. Now, as you can see, while he's eating that, and because the steak was actually the highest percentage there, it was around about 60%, it actually pushed it up quite a bit. And that blue bar has gone almost 100%. So now he's actually quite full. But let's get him a drink as well. So let's give him this stuff. That sounds like some good water. Chop, will you flip it like have your water now? Here, here. No, no, don't chase your tail. Drink. Just drink. Good boy! And he hasn't been gone for walkies for ages, so I guess we could go walking in the park somewhere. Okay, I, I've never done this before, so this is going to be interesting. So basically, you just move around with your finger and, you know, he follows it. Isn't it amazing? What? Are you crazy? Oh my gosh, now I get it. Oh, I'm sorry, Chop. There we go, there we go, so we've got to keep the dogs away this time, so I didn't know that before, so this is my beautiful tutorial. And what you need to do is just basically draw lines around the dog, the female dog, so- Oh, let's get some time! Woo! There we go, there we go, so you just draw these lines around- Oh, god damn it, stupid puppies! Give me the time, the time! Yes, let's draw a circle around here, that should be a good way to do this. Oh my gosh, more dogs are coming right up to her! Okay. Okay. Yes! Yes! Did I get her? Yes! What?! God damn it, you got insufficient love! 
No, don't look at me like that. Drink your water. Okay, okay you guys, so that is the actual application. Um, like I said before, depending on how you look after Franklin's dog, that reflects on how he will actually react within the game. So he will do tricks, he'll be more loyal to you, he'll even possibly defend you against other gang members, who knows. The next application I'll be talking about is called Life Invader. Now, this app is quite interesting. It's kind of like the GTA version of Facebook, in my opinion. Portray the life you want online. Beautiful. So, you actually have some like various profiles on here, advertisements for certain random stuff. And, I don't know, maybe some other things. Yesterday, I was on this and it showed me this advertisement for some random guy who was single and looking for love, so whatever. <laughs> But uh, you can refresh it and just see if there's anything new. Man, there's nothing. Oh, you can stalk people. It's kind of like <laughs> what people usually do on Facebook. Not me, of course. And what is this? What is this? Ink, shit, and image. Oh, that's so cool. So it's basically like the Facebook of um, GTA, kind of, pretty much. 1,188 1, stalk this. So it's pretty cool. You can actually like look into like various other things. So that's probably cool kind of like a trivial thing that you might want to check into if you are sometimes interested. Apart from that, um, one of my main favorite things about this application is going to be Los Santos Customs. This application actually allows me to customize my car on the go. So we'll click on this. Okay, so this is the Los Santos Customs application. Now, this will allow you to customize your car for any three of the protagonists from GTA 5 on the go. So right now we have Franklin. I don't have the other two at the moment. And what I can do is I can customize quite a few things from respraying the color, the engine, the brakes, the wheels, the exhaust, the suspension, even armor, <laughs> horn, lights, tires, and you can even add the turbo. So there's a lot of customization added to GTA 5. So you'll be able to kit up your car quite a lot. Now, for example, let's say if I wanted to get some new tires. I can do that. And I wanted to also get a new number plate. So you just click on the tab and, you know, I'll just type in tricky and I don't know, I, I want this for example. And we go to garage. And then we go to customize. And then we just click on order, and then what that would do is, the next time I load up Grand Theft Auto 5, all my parts and everything will be ready for me in my garage, and I'm good to go. And then I can just collect my car, and happy days. So we just click on order now, and it says, are you sure? So make sure you are sure you want all of this, fit it in your car, and just click yes. Additionally, the vehicle's name as well is also, state, is also stated just below Franklin's name. So right now, this is a Bravado Buffalo. Hopefully, you know, whatever other cars I may even encounter in GTA, the name will most likely change. Um, on top of that, if you are playing the game and you are doing, let's say, a mission or whatever else you fancy, and you feel like, I want to customize this car, I want to get a few extra parts, that's perfectly fine. You can launch the app straight away. Just get whatever you feel like and you'll get a phone call from your nearest mechanic in the game itself and they'll just tell you, hey, your parts are ready. Come to the nearest garage and come pick it up. One extra thing to note is that the game does have notifications. So for me, for example, while I'm maybe going about with my day, <laughs> the iPhone will let me know that Chop has taken a dump, go clean it up. So I know now that 17 minutes ago, Chop took a dump. So I have to clean up his mess now. But also it will let you know, you know, if he's hungry or thirsty. So every time throughout the day, you might have to now and then feed him or whatever. Just like I, I, as you would with a real dog. So, you know, just to keep your heads up so your dog doesn't pass out or anything. Alright, so once you guys have done actually like getting what you wanted from Los Santos Customs, just load up the game like I've just done. You just head to your garage and then you can just pick up all your upgrades um, that you actually selected. And not only that, if I wanted to, you can just pick up your phone launch the iFruit application and from there you can just select which upgrades you wanted and then the mechanic will phone you up in game while you're doing whatever you're doing and just head to the nearest garage in your own time 
and voila and that's it so I'd say it's a very good application I'd think it's a great way to keep you connected into the GTA world while you actually are away from the game itself so it's free it's 400 megabytes and it's for iOS so if you want to grab it I'd, I'd recommend it anyways that's all I have to say about the application hope you enjoyed this video Get GTA 5 if you haven't already, and thank you for watching, please like the video if you did, and peace out.